You've seen me saying that this is a very special video, this is a very special product, this is a very special car. But trust me, the car we are driving today is the most special that we'll be driving in a long, long time to come. Yes, this is the Mercedes AMG A45S, a car that is a hyper hatchback. You know, I've coined this term because it's nothing less than a hypercar. It's hypercar because it's the world's fastest 2-liter engine with 421 bhp and it is speed limited to 278 km per hour, which we are going to touch today. Yes, on an Indian soil at the Natrex track, possibly making a record of its own driving a hatchback at this speed. So what are we waiting for? Let's go ahead and start driving. This is the best feeling you'll ever get and I think for a lot of people this is the never have I ever thing off the list. Almost touch 300 km per hour on Indian soil in a car that is capable of it is just limited to 278 otherwise it would have just gone past that. This is not performance hatchback, this is not a sports hatchback, this is not a hot hatchback, this is not even a super hatchback, this is what I call a hyper hatchback because what it can do nobody else can this is the world's fastest two liter engine in a hatchback and boy what an engine it is driving in india nitrax is the facility and this is just insane it's like a dream come true you know i really have to pinch myself after i get out of the car and see if it's really really me driving or it's just something I had always dreamt of and it is happening now. A 2 litre engine that produces 421 bhp. If you put it to numbers, it has more bhp per litre than the Bugatti Veyron and that's the exact reason why I'm calling it a hyper hatchback. It's nothing less than that. I'm just gonna thank Mercedes India for you know bringing this to India because a lot of performance enthusiasts are really wanting car that can do these things. now that we have a track like Nitrex, boy, just get this car if you have the money, don't wait for it, just go and get it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful car and absolutely get great colors. And you can hear the sound, it's just insane, right? The A45 is just touch of a pedal, race mode on, powerful sound on. It's like a pleasure. Driving around the parabola is like insane. I mean, this is crazy. The turns are so well done. You know, there is such a great tilt angle to the track. It's just beautiful to be driving on this, you know. At 278 km per hour, you are on a turn. Yes, you can do this, but you need the right place to do that. And this is the place And also you need the right car to do it. And that's what this car is all about. Give people a performance car, they will take it. They're not left in the lurch waiting for a performance car or you have to import a car. This is just ballistic and I mean if you are a performance enthusiast, just go get it. I mean you've seen my video of the GLC 43 Coupe and one of the most practical cars, performance cars that you can buy in the country and really really well priced. So I'm hoping this will be very well priced again. Though I'm not expecting less than 80 lakhs, I'm expecting it to be 80 to 85 lakhs. By the time you watch this video, the price might have been announced, but our estimate is 80 to 85 lakh rupees for this car. And if that is the price, this is a hot seller already. And what I came to know from few of the dealers is that it's already out of stock and a lot of, lot of people have already booked it. That I'm not talking about like few numbers, I'm talking about in triple digit numbers, it's already sold out and if you're lucky, might still get one so go ahead and check out your dealership the mercedes dealership and see if you can get one the new mercedes amg a45 s formatic plus looks like a significant landmark in the evolution of hot hatchback with the brand signature panamericana grill full led headlamps and massive air dams on either side of the front bumper, the front profile looks great. The side profile is also very attractive with a curving shoulder line that moves towards the rear when there is a large spoiler 
and shapely rear end complete with LED tail lamps and a rear diffuser with big bore quad exhaust and AMG aerodynamics. Also, it was difficult to miss the sporty sun yellow color and the 19 inch twin spoke alloy wheels finished in black. The car looks menacing to say the least and it's certainly a hyper hatch in terms of the exterior design. There's also significant structural reinforcements that aims to improve the front end torsion, rigidity and response. The front axle is now wider too, a change that along with dramatically flared arches make the A45S far more aggressive looking proposition than it was. To sum it up, it's a hatchback practicality married to a supercar baiting pace. Just like the exterior, the interiors of the A45S says it loud and clear that it's an AMG. While most of the dash area is familiar from the newer generations of Mercedes cars, the turbine style air vents in the center fascia and the large twin screens of the MBUX infotainment system is all there. But as it's an AMG, you get brushed aluminum that wraps way around the top of the doors and across the dash with metallic surfaces contrasting smartly against the glossy black plastic paneling that surrounds the turbine style air vents. Contrasting yellow paneling and and stitching that further heightens the car's visual dose of athletic intent. And every time you see or sit in the interior, you go, oh my God, AMG. Hi, welcome guys. We are the, with the fastest and youngest Indian, Arjun Mani. So Arjun, welcome to the Unbiased Vlog. And we are really, really happy because, you know, we got to stand with him, click picture with him and be in the car with him while driving the AMG A45S. So Arjun, it's going to be a rapid fire. You're all about speed. Your favorite track in the world? Um, it's Macau. Macau, okay. Your yeah. favorite car? Uh, AMG GT3. How about the car today you drove? One of my favorites, for sure. Okay. <laughs> and I mean, any tips for the people who are driving around? You know, you know you're an inspiration. You're the, one of the youngest people to be and win a podium finish for Indian DTM racing. Yeah. Tips for people. Oh. So smooth is fast. You know, I have to keep everything very, uh, very relaxed behavior on the wheel. And uh, it's always faster on the limit, less sliding. And on the limit of just sliding and not sliding is the best way. So be smooth uh, and let the car do the work. Absolutely. Yeah. So what made you go into DTM racing rather than F1? Because you know, a lot of people are always aspiring about Formula 1 and but yeah. not DTM. Right. What made you go to DTM? Um, so I mean, first of all, when I was in Formula 3, uh, I was a support series for DTM. So I realized how big uh, that was in Germany and it was unbelievable, you know, we'd see fans of 60, 80,000 people at the tracks and they were just there for the DTM. So we knew how much it meant. Uh, to people in Europe and uh, I, I really enjoyed my experience of course I was still aiming for Formula 1 at that time but then I really discovered a nice part of motorsport and endurance and uh, uh, GT racing and I'm really enjoying my time here and uh, yeah it, it, it's great fun. Started a date were you even legally allowed to drive back then? No, not. But of course, you do start with go-kart racing, uh, as a lot of the kids do. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, it takes step by step. We started in India, I mean, which is, I think it should give a hope to a lot of people. So we were in India until uh, I was about uh, 10 or 11. And then I moved to Malaysia and Asian karting. Uh, and then, of course, eventually you end up in European karting. Before you, I made a step to Formula Cards when I was 15. Wow. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's been a long journey, a lot of steps. Uh, but again, I think the one thing we can take away is I did start in India, so uh, yeah, it's possible for a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you talked about you know people who are the younger crowd who's aspiring to do that. So what's the best way to go about? Because you know there is a, now there is such great infrastructure like Natrex and all given to people. What do you have like a recommendation, like where to start? I mean, first you need to start on a go-kart uh, nowadays because that's the main way to, you know, get your skills ready for when you go into Formula cars. I mean, it's not a must, but it definitely, definitely helps. Um, you need to be, I mean, uh, on the younger side, so you can, you know, yeah. um, get trained from an early age to learn all the skills and then it sits better with you. Uh, but of course, I mean, uh, best part is to go into the national championships, yeah. karting and then racing. And of course, I think if you're good enough and then you get some good sponsorship, it's of course very important. And yeah. of course, you can try to make your way up. Absolutely. So if you're not racing, what are you doing? I mean, uh, for me, I mean, recently this year was quite hectic with all with all the racing. But of course, I like to do uh, some sim racing as well. So <laughs> racing away from the track, uh, a little bit of gaming, a lot of like to play sports. Okay. Uh, so yeah, a bit of a mixture here and there. But uh, play a little bit of chess. I'm not very good, but I enjoy playing it a lot. So yeah, yeah a few small hobbies, but mainly racing. Awesome. <laughs> and I can see that sim racing other than racing is like always in racing. Right. Great. So I mean, any last words for the audience watching you? No, I mean, 
thanks Whatever. and uh, I mean great cars we had uh, today to drive around as uh, you will see and uh, yeah uh, give it all and hope to get a lot of you guys into motorsport and let's let's build a strong motorsport culture in this country thank you so much for inspiring all of us thank you so thanks. much thanks thanks